welcome back, I'm the Game Beaver, and this is another episode of Jurassic World The Game. I just want to start off by saying thank you everybody for all the support on the previous episode. Blummin' insane! That video hit like 100,000 subs- 100,000 subscribers! 100,000 views in less than 24 hours. It was absolutely crazy. The same with the Lego. But, um, I wanted to, uh, oh, also the giveaway. I'll tell you when, at the start of the video, when I'm going to do the giveaway. Uh, not yet, I'm just waiting for more people to put in their comments and stuff, but it's got like 5,000 comments. I've, I've got my work cut out for me, so let's... J I want to talk about this game really quick. I really do, because uh, there's something bothering me about it, and I think everyone who is frustrated with the game and is a bit annoyed and a bit peed at it feels... Actually, I'm starting to feel the same way, because every time there's a good thing about this game or a way that you can exploit said game um when it first launched you got mystery packs guess what you can't buy now yeah that's right mystery packs um you can't get those anymore okay right that 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 bloomin sucks also the battle the battle stage infinite that only cost 48 or like 80 bucks to buy back. So it was a really cheap way of running through card packs using books and buying back creatures, which is expensive. But at the point that I was at, I could just do that and get loads of packs. Um, but guess what? Now it costs 100 or maybe 200 bucks to speed up the infinite mode. So that is also out of the question. And I just get a general feeling that I got- the park that I've got right now is pure luck. This park right here, with all its hybrids and everything, I would not be able to get if I started the game right now. Which bloomin' sucks. Now we can't forget that Jurassic Park Builder suffered from exactly the same fallings. It- it- the way it works, it was just- you have to plow lots of time into these games. And, you know, if you if you unlock everything and you get all the creatures, I can understand that, you know, it sort of loses its luster. I mean, once you've got everything, you don't really have any need to play it anymore. And if that's easy to do, then I can understand that Ludia, you know, they don't want you to do that. But the way that they've just been changing everything, it's like they've been... And I know they do, I know they watch my videos, but it's like every time they see me get something really quick or too easy they go oh guys um we need to fix that and right now they've stamped out every possible way for you to speed things up now you might be thinking well that's free stuff right what if you want to spend money on the game right that should be something that is a last resort if any and you shouldn't really do it because this is a free game and you should play it for free so everything you get feels like an achievement Okay, let's talk about that for a second. Right, now if we go into the dinosaurs, let's say I just need one more Indominus Rex and I can make a level 20. Sounds easy, right? To get a 40 level T-Rex and a 40 level Raptor is going to take me probably months or a month. The same way it's taken me in the past, what, 70 episodes to do. Uh, so that's out of the question. The other way we can do it is to buy it. Now buying... It said Indominus Rex. Oh, has he moved? Or did I just skip past him? I did. 29,000 DNA. Okay. I've got 15,000 bucks, right? That should be enough to buy 29,000 DNA. Guess what? You go on coin, you can buy coin. Go on cash, you can buy cash. You can buy cash with cash. You can buy food with the books. Um, can you buy DNA? No. The only way to buy DNA is to sit through an advert, and you only get three DNA for doing that, and you can only probably do about seven a day. So that accumulates to about, what, 21... 21? Yeah, 21 bucks a day. Uh, bear in mind, you do get mystery packs, but even then, you only get 10. A minimum, or, yeah, 10 bucks a pack. So you're gonna get about 30, 40 bucks a day. Which, can I be honest, is not enough. That's not enough. It's really not enough. So you can't, there's no way of you getting DNA. Okay, you might be saying, right. Well, how about you just get loads of dinosaurs that you've already got in the hatchery because beavers, you've got a ton. And why don't you sell them? Sounds reasonable, right? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so let's try selling one. Uh, My Microbosaurus at level one is a legendary. This is quite a rare thing to come by. I say that, and now hybrids are like super, super rare. So we go sell. We get about 1,250. Bear in mind, I got it for free. 1,250. Okay, right. How much for a fully level 40? This is eight of them. Eight of them. That sells for about 10,000 DNA. Can that buy an Indominus? No! No, it can't buy an Indominus. Why? Because Indominus costs 30,000 DNA for one, and you need 80. Now, there are YouTubers out there that hack the game, and I can see why. But they hack the game for the wrong reasons. They hack the game because they want to make money. They go, huh, I can easy hack the game. And Ludia, will you crack down on these? Go find the b on that. And just, they're making money off your product by hacking it, not supporting you at all. And they're making a lot of money. So, um, sort those guys out. Like I said in a previous video, should people really be making money off playing video games? That was a big topic I wanted to talk about. Um, and I feel like if it's something where the person who makes it, you listen to their commentary, they're funny, you're, they're the reason why they come back to it. A bit like this channel, a bit like Game Grumps, a bit like Markiplier, a bit like PewDiePie, a bit like all the popular YouTubers. But the people who just put up hacked versions of the game, max out an Indominus Rex, this bugger. And I will say, like, it's badass. Let's hide in the trees. Can't see me here. Mmm. So yeah, this thing, um, like th they hack it, they hack it, and just make lots of money. Sh is that is that right? They should be making that money. They're just playing the game. Something that I feel like the game company Ludia Universal and that should be getting that money, not this guy who's just hacked the game, not supporting the content at all. Doesn't give a two cents about them. Just wants to make money off a free game. Uh, that that shouldn't be allowed, and I really think they should crack down on that. Um, like just people are hack, well, just hackers in general. I think they should be cracked with a whip because it's getting out of control. Um, especially on YouTube, people people post like football events. They just po post football matches, and they get thousands of dollars, thousands of pounds for doing that because people just want to see the football match. Um, but the way the internet is right now, it is the old west there is no rules there's no real way of cracking down people can get away with murder on the internet like trolling people scamming people out of money and there's no way the police can get on them because they could just cover their tracks too well and it's scary because at the moment the internet's be a beautiful place where everything's free but eventually i get the feeling that governments are going to start cracking down on it and realizing what's going on in the internet and before you know it It'll be all, nope, you can't have the internet unless you do this and this and this, and it's terrible. And these ga games like this are just the start of it. Like, people making money, free money, without doing any work, just hacking the game. I mean, I'm one to talk, making money of playing the game, but I love it. I have a passion for it. I try to give you something. I'm basi It's basically like t a TV show. You tune in, you watch it, you enjoy it, you have a commentator. It's, it is just like a show. Um, and I try to make it as entertaining as possible. But uh, getting back to my point to start with, the reason why I did this whole video, um, I think Ludia's just... I don't know. I don't like what they're doing with this game right now. They're just making it hard for you to progress in any way, shape, and form. And in in a way, they're promoting hackers on YouTube. They're not supporting the people that play the game legitimately because nobody wants to see um, like a, a regular raptor. Nobody wants to see uh, a, a bonito, a bonito, bonito Saras! Nobody wants to see that because you it's a common. You get it easy. Everybody wants to see a maxed out Indominus Rex. And guess how you get that? Probably a year's work. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got this because I took advantage of the early, like, things that were in the game. The fact that you could buy mystery packs for a hundred bucks. Oh, I wish I bought so much more. A hundred bucks for a mystery pack. Because you, I got, like, the prizes back then were as good as in the legendary pack because I was a really high level. And the prizes depended not on what pack you got, but on what level you were. So I was getting hundreds of thousands of coins, hundreds of thousands of meat, even books, which I will say was only 10 or something, and DNA was only 100, 
But they fixed that, so now you get like a, a general map. But even so, the only reason I got like 13 million food is and 56 million coin is because of that. I mean, I will say I am still on the plus with coin because I've got nothing to blum and spend it on. And I wish I could trade 50,000 coin for... Sorry, 50 million coin for 50,000 DNA. I would love there to be some sort of trade option. At least then you'd you'd want to level up the dinosaurs in order to, you know, sell a coin for DNA. That way it gives it another purpose. But right now, it, the way this game is, and I'm sorry that I've been blabbering on. I've just got a lot to get off my chest. And a lot of people are feeling this way. Um, it's just that this game's a right kick in the teeth, as I would quote. Um... And I'm not liking what it's turning into. Uh, I love the game. I, I love maxing up dinosaurs. I just I, I love what it is. I just don't like how Ludia is taking everything away that we love. That we're like, yes, I can't believe I found like an awesome way to make DNA. I found an awesome way to make books. Because uh, the only way I can get DNA in books is to go here and click buy. And guess what I don't want to do? Buy. I mean, 40 quid. That could buy you a real... That could buy you the Indominus Rex that I'm giving away in, the, in episode 69. That's what I could buy you. And guess what I'm going to get from that? Something that I can sell for about a thousand uh, DNA. Uh, maybe, maybe 500 bucks? Maybe. And food that I don't need, coin that I don't need, a mission that will give me probably about five bucks, a building that is useless. And that's it. Is it worth it? No. No, it's not worth it. Ugh. I just hate, I really hate what this is coming and turning into. Because, uh, like, people, I think a lot of people can get the game now. Um, I don't know if it's still incompatible. I hope it isn't still incompatible because that bloomin' sucks. Um, and I like, you know, it's, it's a, it is a high demanding game for a little, you know, we're playing this on phones. A phone could never play a game when I was a kid. And now we're squabbling by the fact it can't play something that, like, a Nintendo 64 had the graphics to play. Or, you know, a PlayStation 1 had the graphics to play. But yet, an iPad can play it. Or an iPhone can play it. And now that it can't, we're like, hey, what's going on? We're just too used to having everything on one platform and having everything fed to us. Um, and a lot of people are coming to YouTube just to see the dinosaurs and creatures. And again, they're promoting the hackers, which bloom and sucks because hardworking people that put a lot of effort into their videos, into editing, into thumbnails, into advertising, into social medias and everything are getting nothing back for all their hard work. And people who just hacked the game go, <laughs> a thousand million DNA uh, and getting money. And it sucks because I feel like Ludia is not supporting or the, the game's companies aren't supporting people who in a way deserve it more. Um... I'm just gonna say that because hacking the game is something that's never been It's basically like piracy for movies because you're just getting something for free Except for instead of spending money and time You, just, you are just getting it for free um, And again like piracy you're not supporting the uh, the company um, And I have never really been helped by Ludia. Ludia has never just given me an olive branch and said here's a thousand DNA or, sorry, like, really helped me out. They have given me books in the past, um, but that was because Jurassic Park Builder had problems, so I got refunded, and they gave me about a, th a hundred books, or is it a thousand books? They gave me something like that because they wanted me to show off some more of the dinosaurs. But a thousand books in this game, I could spend it right there. That's a thousand books, basically. I mean, yeah, it's not completely, but it's almost there on three creatures. How ridiculous is that? Basically, the way, in comparison this is to Jurassic Park Builder, a thousand bucks is the equivalent to a hundred bucks. It does not make you think. Instead of me looking at this and going, he's got 15,000 bucks, you might as well be looking at me and going, he's got 1,500 bucks. That could buy him one limited uh, DNA rescue creature, and that's it from Jurassic Park Builder. So that's enough of that, I just, I, I was about to record something else, but then I was like, wait, no, I've got all this to get off my chest, and thank you so much for listening to me, as your reward for listening to me, jabber jibber jabber on, let's do some battles, and let's get, let's get a free legendary pack. Uh, so this time, we're doing it again, if you remember right, I was here, uh, about a couple of weeks ago, or a week, a week or so ago, we're against Hoskins, ha, ha! I'm not going to spoil the movie, 
Uh, and um, I got my ass handed to me at the time. That was my best creature. And because I had nothing with 900 health extra, it couldn't take... Nothing could take us two hits. Everything was dead in one hit. Everything. But now, Supersaurus can take two hits from uh, T-Rex and die. It can take one hit and survive. So it doesn't matter. We could put in the weakest. In fact, I'm going to put in something we never see. Um, oh, Gullimimus, Pachycephalosaurus. Yes. And Supersaurus. Let's do this. Can we win? Because these guys are just as good, if not as bad, as everything else apart from Supersaurus in this matchup. And they're all going to be killed by one hit. And the PC doesn't really care about killing things. See, there you go. It could have killed it in one, but used two for some strange reason. Did it think it was going to block? No. I wasn't going to waste one block when I knew you could hit for two. So, Pachycephalosaurus. Come on, you can do it. Rock hamster. Two hits, go for two, please. Oh, it didn't. Awesome. Okay. Now waste all your goes this time. It might went for two. Oh, it's got it's got four. Because it's got one reserve. Go for a full on four. No! What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? We don't like this. Um one, two, three, four. Should I attack it? If I attack it, it'll take some health down. But again, I'm still going to be killed in... You know what? I'm going to go for four blocks. I'm going to go for four blocks. So he's got six. Go for four and six. Yes, we won! Awesome! Oh, that was easy peasy. Oh, I'm sorry, Paggy. I love Paggy Sandlosaurus. I'm really just starting to get into it. It's, it's like Whitney's favorite dinosaur, but at the same time, I really, I'm starting to really dig it. So there you go. That's it. I think we needed seven to kill him. Supersaurus smash! That looks so awesome. When the PC does it, it's a different camera angle and not as cool looking. But when you do it, it looks blooming awesome. Yeah! Ravosaurus. And there we go! Now something that costs 40 quid we get for free! What do we get? <gasps> DNA! 1,500 DNA! That's the equivalent of selling a Macrobosaurus. How stupid's that? So 200,000 and a Prion Sutures. And you know what it is? The fact that you don't want to sell things! You don't want to sell dinosaurs! Especially for that less, because you're going to need them for a hybrid. You know, I'm going to need that Pachycephalosaurus- Sorry, Parasaurolophus for a hybrid. I'm going to need Macrobosaurus for a hybrid. Kool-Aid's already one. Uh, these will need one. Uh, I know the common. I would love just a common hybrid. We don't have a common hybrid. I would love to spend all of these forty triceratopses and splice them with all of those or something, and just have loads of free sort of hybrids. But right now you can't do that. So let's do the battle stage infinite now. Guess what we're up against? I checked it before, and that's one of the reasons. Why I wanted to do this video because we're against two Indominus Rexes. Not only is one level 10, the other one's in its second evolution and is level 14 and has 2,100. So, pretty screwed, really. But we'll put in Macrobosaurus, then we'll put in Peck Out Your Eyes, and then we'll put in Sarcosuchus. I kind of, I kind of want to put in Indominus. Guys, what do you think? Sarcosuchus or Indominus? Well, there you go, Indominus it is! And this costs a million coins. Oh god, look at it! With its second colorings. Oh, okay, so we could probably do about... 800 damage to it. It's not gonna kill it, so I'm gonna switch it. Well, I'm gonna reserve. So he's probably gonna... Oh, he doesn't go for the Dino Swap! Bear in mind... His damage is about 403 against me, and that's half. So, 403, 800, 1,200, you could probably kill me in... Oh my god. I just realized, even with the advantage, this is scary. Um, I'm gonna go for another three reserve, because I'm gonna guess he's blocking. He didn't! Oh no! Oh god! Okay, um, right, one, two... Three, he's killed him. Plus a two for his blocks and a reserve. Oh, he didn't go for any? Why? Oh my god, we took it out. Thank god. Whew. Now that that's gone, Sarkasukas isn't much more of a problem. 
four, five, six, seven. He's got three, three for possible blocks. Um, I think two can kill it. Can two kill it? No. Okay, two can't kill it. So, oh my god. Okay, I need to kill. I need to kill this Sarkasukas. Oh no, two can kill it. So he might have three blocks. Let's just go. Let's say he went for three blocks. Oh, and he did. Thank God. Because if I went for a full-on reserve here, he might have switched into Indominus and killed me pretty quick. Because look at that! Look at that attack! Okay, so hopefully he's going to kill me with two. He doesn't! Awesome! Well, let's go for a full-on four reserve. Right, he's got seven. Goes for five. He's got two blocks. Yeah, we've killed him. We've rinsed it. That was a close one, though. It could have went either way, depending on how I played it, but we, we were lucky. Screw it, we weren't lucky, we were blooming awesome! Time for a Dominus is special! Yeah, two, six, that's still gonna rinse you. Ready? I Slappy, slappy, bitey! I like how it's got its own special, because it does have the Spinosaurus animation, but it's got its own moves, which is quite cool. I mean, they had to do something extra with it, right? So a common pack, please, just all DNA. Oh, yes, it was as well, to, like, 400 DNA. So we're getting close. We're really getting close. Look at that, 288 bucks to speed up, when originally it was 90. It was 90 bucks, and it didn't take 24 hours. It took about six hours. So this is another complaint I have with the game, and I hope Ludi does watch this, because... Like, a lot of their sales, they get through YouTube. A lot of people that watch this series go, oh, Yeah, I want to play this game. This looks awesome. And I, I hope they start fixing this. Because right now, all they've been doing is taking away, like, times and ways that people can play the game. And right now, it is literally, Oh, you want an Indominus? Yeah, you got to play for five months straight. No one has the time for that. And in five months, Jurassic World is going to be over its hype. Um... I mean, right, they want to make it really good now. They should have their release. They have people who play it straight away. They get really good perks. But right now, they're just sort of kicking you. Kicking you while you're one not down. And in five months, they're probably still going to be kicking you when you're down. Please, Ludia, fix it. There is All you're doing is losing people right now. People who are, like, just should have got real love for the game. They're coming into it not knowing what to expect. And you're taking it away from them. And come on, guys. You can't be saying you're not making money. Because that can't be it. I don't believe that Lydia is money hungry. I don't believe that for a second. Because they must have made a crud ton from this. Uh, from the movie. From the revenue of the brawler saws and whatnot. I don't know if they make some of that. But it's just... I don't know what their game is right now. All they're doing is taking away from a game that was awesome. And it still is in a lot of ways, but now it's like, there's no point apart from, there's no point in playing, apart from seeing the dinosaurs, maxing them up. But the way to do that is to spend all your life playing it. So, if you hope you've liked this episode, hope I haven't bored you too much. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, God.